So for two years, uh, for two years prior to signing up for this resilient program, I felt like I was caught in this cycle of overworking, overthinking, which ultimately led to burnout. Um, you know, I often tell my my friends, you know, and my family too, like for those two years, work was my life. You know, that's what I talk about with my husband 24-7. I dream about work. I, the first thing I wake up thinking is work. Uh, and I've always been the individual where I felt like work defined me. And I was very proud of what I accomplished at work, but I wasn't happy about that two years. I felt like it was too much. Um, and it wasn't until the end of the second year where we had a week off during Christmas and New Year's. Um, but I found myself working the entire week, even though it was it was supposed to be a holiday. And so I didn't get that one week to recharge. Um, and it was during that week where I'm like, you know what, something has to change. And so I just went on Google and started searching, how do you cope with burnout? How do you cope with overworking and things like that? And your article, Melody, popped up. I think it was an article in Forbes um, where you talk about sensitive striver and that type of individual. And it was the first time where I felt hurt. Like I've got a lot of advice in the two years where people are trying to help me cope with this distress, but it wasn't something that I could relate with until like I said, I, I read your article and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is me. I think I'm most proud of, I think first of all, I feel proud of my accomplishments, which I haven't for a long time, you know, even with each promotion, I just felt like an imposter. So I never felt like I deserved that. Um, but now when I, you know, when people tell me I'm doing good work, I'm able to kind of take it in and be like, I am doing good work. I think that's that was a huge step that I saw in the program. Um, work-life balance has been much better as well. You know, I'm eating more in time these days. There are some days where I'm still, eh, could be improved upon, but definitely much better than before I start, you know, started the program. Um, I do disconnect now. I don't work on weekends anymore. I don't work past like 6.30, 7 p.m. Like when I shut it off, it's off. Um, and so I think for me, that was a huge win. And I do find that I'm thinking about work less as well. Like, you know, just as simple as having dinner with my husband or watching TV, like Netflix, I'm able to really disconnect and not have work be at the back of my mind. So I think for me, it's really just the improvement in mental health that I've seen. Um, I feel like I'm a much happier person right now. And I also feel empowered. I feel empowered that if I know, if I ever get stuck in this cycle again, I know how to get myself out of it versus just being feeling helpless and like there's something wrong with me because there's nothing wrong with me. For me, it has transformed my life, like honestly. I, 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 I recommend this to whoever that I can because I do think it's, I love, what I really love about this program too is there's a lot of resources and you really give us actionable tools. You know, it's very concrete things that we can work on. Um, not just a advice that someone just say, you know, like suck it up, you know, get over it. Don't be so stressed out. That is not concrete. This is very tangible things that we can hang on to. And I think that community part, I think just being part of that and hearing people, people experiences and the challenges they face, it just makes you feel like it's okay. You know, and I think that support system, it's also such a huge part of why I think this program at least has transformed my life as well.